Hello gang, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. So for today's video I'm going to be doing my wrap up of the 2022 year. Um, I'm going to be showing you the diamond paintings that I finished during the year. And I must be honest, in terms of the diamond painting community, this is one of my favorite times of the year because I love seeing all these, well, a lot of people call them year in review videos. I love seeing all the diamond paintings that people completed and it's so awesome to see them in one video. So basically, I've been diamond painting for about three years, on and off in those three years. And only really sort of seriously started diamond painting in the last year or so. Um, I also only started my YouTube channel about three or four months ago. And I've only started keeping a logbook about three or four months ago to tie in with obviously my YouTube channel and to keep a record of, of my paintings. So although this video is titled Year in Review, it's not my complete year. Because the paintings that I completed before I started my YouTube channel are all over the place. Some have been gifted, some are in boxes, some are in the garage, some I don't even know where they are. So it's only really since I started my channel that I really kept the diamond paintings aside. So what I'm going to be showing you now are the diamond paintings that I have completed since starting my YouTube channel and although this does not represent the entire year it's pretty much a lot of what i did during the year because before i started my youtube channel i wasn't completing as many diamond paintings as this so that's the introduction on that secondly obviously i tend to work on large diamond paintings and so it's often difficult to get the entire painting into the frame um, and so I will pan up and down so that you can see the painting and then I will probably try and just put it on its side so that the majority of the painting is in frame. If you are watching the video on your cell phone, you will then be able to turn your cell phone on its side and you should get the majority of the painting in. So enough about that. I'm sure you guys want to see these paintings. How I have sorted them is not in any specific order. I'm not sorting them based on when I completed them. How I've sorted them is basically from smallest to biggest. So, and that's a plus minus. You know, some of the paintings are only a centimeter or two difference. And so, yeah, forgive me if there are a couple that seem to be out of order. But in general, I've done it from smallest to biggest. So, Let's kick off, guys, with my very first one, the smallest one that I finished this year or since starting my channel. And this is a Long Island Iced Tea from Diamond Art Club. And the artist for this one is Lily and Val. Um, one more thing before I continue. I'm not going to do, obviously, reviews of these diamond paintings in this video. Um, I have reviews for every single diamond painting that I'm going to show you. There are reviews on my channel. So please go to the playlist. And if you look at the playlist titled, I think it's Reveal and Review, you will find all the post reviews for all of this art there. There is only one painting that isn't there yet just because I only finished it yesterday. Um, and so that one will be up in the next week or two, I'll have a full post review on that one. So just a note, I will not be doing detailed reviews. I might just make a comment here or there if something specifically stuck in my mind. But other than that, please check out the playlists. Okay, so back to this video. Right, so like I said, this is Long Island Iced Tea. This was a square diamond painting in the size, let me just have a look here. 47 by 60 centimeters so basically you can see this one um, from top to bottom this was a pretty fun and easy diamond painting as you can see um, the background 
is obviously full of color, color blocking. And then there was only really confetti in this area here, the drink and the lemon um, and so on. But the, the back or the background was pretty much obviously uh, color blocking. It was interesting that the background is actually not black. It hasn't been done in three tens. I think this was the 3371, which is a very dark brown. That's on the side over here. And then on this side over here, the color scheme actually moved into more of a gray. So yes, I did enjoy working on this one. Uh, my only criticism, maybe I did start getting a tiny bit bored towards the end. But in general, I love this one. And this one was a fun and easy summer slash holiday canvas to work on. Okay, then next, let me reveal the next one that I have to show you guys. Oh, this was just one of my favorites of the year because I just absolutely love this image. This is, well, before I scroll or, or move the canvas up and down, let me just give you some stats. This canvas is called Jules and Vern. It's by Maika Jelena. And the size was 56 centimeters by 56 centimeters. And it is a round diamond painting. So as you can see from top to bottom, such a gorgeous image. I just loved working on this one. The rounds were fantastic. The image itself is just oh so cute. <laughs> I did really love this one. Um, I think if I recall, I added in some extra ABs um, to certain sections throughout this kit. Uh, I'm trying to think where else. Also down here in the little bird. And yes, overall just a fun, fun diamond painting to do. Um, I actually think I did this one in the first half of the year and it went fairly quickly. The drills were fantastic. And yes, another hit from Diamond Art Club. Right, now this next canvas is another one of my favorites of the year. And this is Athena, again from Diamond Art Club. Now, I hadn't done, well, sorry, before I get into that, let me give you some of the stats on Athena. Uh, this is Athena, obviously, by Willowing Arts, uh, released by Diamond Art Club. It was a round drill diamond painting, and the size was 51 centimeters by 66 centimeters. Let me just try and pan a little bit up and down on this one. I just absolutely adored working on this canvas. I don't know what it was, but I just loved it. I hadn't worked on a round um, diamond painting in some time when I decided to work on this one because I'm generally a fan of squares. But the minute I started working on this one and I experienced these Diamond Art Club rounds again, I just fell in love with it. I had such a good time working on this one. This would probably be in my top three finishes for the year. And I can't exactly pinpoint that. I just remember loving the rounds, loving the colors, loving the rendering. I just had a good time with this one. I know someone, uh, some people are a little bit critical of some of the rendering, for example, this gray through her hair. But I just think it's almost Diamond Art Club's rendering style. Um, they often have harder and harsher lines. And so some artwork, you know, doesn't maybe lend itself 100% to their rendering style. But I still absolutely loved this one and had a great time working on it. So like I say, this is Athena. This one is unfortunately discontinued. And so you won't be able to get hold of this one. But I was just so lucky to have it in my stash because I loved working on this one. Okay, and then next, let's move on to this canvas. This one is Saxophone, another Diamond Art Club release. And this one was by, or the artist is Olha Darchuk, and the size 51 centimeters by 76 centimeters, Diamond Art Club release in square drills. So again, I'm hoping you can see all the way from the top there down 
to the bottom of the canvas pretty much so this one of course diamond art club really just never lets one down do they i adored working on this one as well if i have any criticisms of this one it doesn't have anything to do with diamond art club just more about the confetti in this painting <laughs> i think you can see i mean even just looking at it at the moment look at these blue sections with their purples and whites and light blue and dark blue i mean you can see the level of confetti here and then again obviously on the other side here in all the oranges but overall another fantastic release from from diamond art club this one did take me a little bit of time to do because of the confetti but another painting that i love this one would be so great framed and hung in a bar or a study or something like that so yes yeah, so i might just keep this one in my stash we do have a bar area in our house and um, it might be a painting that can can go there at some stage okay and then next there we go this is this is Moonlight. This is another release from Diamond Art Club. This is by the artist Renjita Anoop. The size was 71 by 56 centimeters. And this one I decided to work on this year because I was needing a break from some confetti heavy type canvases. And this one just obviously ticked those boxes. If you can see in the background, which I'm sure you can see, there are large areas of color blocking this whole moon i take it as sort of the moon coming up with the shadow around it and the background itself all was heavy color blocking i think you can see that um, through the camera but then of course the flowers were very confetti heavy but when i say confetti heavy they were like three or four different shades of pink with some white ABs and some yellow ABs. So overall, this is a really stunning piece. I did enjoy working on this one. It's not typically my style. <laughs> Those of you who know me know that I tend to lean towards dark art pieces, fantasy, some cartoon type styles. So this one wasn't 100% my style, but when I had seen this one released, I really did love it. And I thought it would just make a, a nice break from the usual type of canvases um, that I work on. So yes, like I say, this is Moonlight. Okay, so now we're getting into some of even the bigger pieces and the bigger canvases that I've finished. This next one is a very recent finish, and this is the one where I said there isn't yet a review on my channel. This is one that I completed for Jingle Drills. Um, so this one I worked on in the month of December. This is Hope Runs Deep by Chuck Pinson, released from Diamond Art Club. It's a round diamond painting in the size, give me a second, 76 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So isn't this one just stunning? Have a look at the top here of the canvas. I really love these colors at the top. This sky, whether it's sunset or sunrise, I think it's a sunset because there are obviously people and horses out and about. These beautiful um, colors, the color shades here, and even some of the blues and the purples in the background, and then the purple obviously here in the trees. And then the other part of this canvas that I loved was the centerpiece, the church. This is basically white and pink um, drills with quite a few ABs in this one outlining the church and I just thought this looked absolutely stunning. So I did thoroughly enjoy working on this one. I will obviously do a full post review in the next week or two. I just need to gather my thoughts and obviously complete my logbook and then get a review up. But basically I loved working on this one but <laughs> need to love confetti to work on this one it had confetti all over the place 
The only tiny bits of color blocking were in the sky, which I showed you just now, those, those um, beautiful colors up in the sky. But the rest of this piece was heavy confetti. I think even you can see, if you have a look at the bottom, you know, the fence, the ribbons or bows, the people, the horse, all these little wooden um, log cabins, everything. It was all just confetti. So this one did take me quite a while and I did need to have a break now and then from it just because I did find the confetti heavy going. Um, then this next canvas. There you go. I hope you can see that one. So I'm going to just pull it down a little bit. So that's from the top. All the way up. So basically this one is called You've Changed. Um, another Diamond Art Club release. The artist here is Dion Ong. And the size was 56 by 74 centimeters in round drills. So what stood out for me largely about this canvas is I just love the use of the ABs in this in this specific canvas. Um, I'm not sure if you can see or pick it up on camera. You can, probably can a little bit. But ABs were used all around this neon circle of light here. And then in the middle here as well with this dagger. Um, there's quite a lot of AB around there. I actually added in even more ABs around the circle just to really make it pop. So this was another really fun diamond painting to do. I had no issues with it. Everything was fine in terms of the symbols, the, the glue, um, the actual image I really did like. And I think I entered this one into an event that Knox was hosting actually. Um, and I actually won the international prize during that event. So yes, so this canvas has good memories for me. Um, yeah, another great release from Diamond Art Club. I actually think this was released last year during Black Friday. I think I picked it up then, but obviously only worked on it this year. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is, whoops, is this one. This is Milky Way Galaxy by, well, the artist is listed as CYC. The size is 56 times 76 centimeters, and this was square diamonds. So if you can see from the top all the way down, That's pretty much to the bottom of the canvas. Let me just turn it on its side so you can get a better view. Now, this is another one of my favorites from this year. Um, there was just something about the color palette in this one that just absolutely spoke to me. Working on this one with its pinks, you know, light pink, dark pink, its blues, its purples, was just really an absolute joy. From a confetti perspective, I think you can see that there is a lot of confetti in this canvas. I mean, you are looking here at the Milky Way and at the galaxy itself. So obviously there were lots of color changes. Um, so yes, you do need to enjoy confetti to enjoy working on this piece. But basically, I mean, isn't it just gorgeous? Isn't the, the artwork itself stunning? And then of course the colors. The colors really are what makes this one. The square drills were fantastic. I mean, even if, as I'm looking at it now, there's no gapping, there's no popping, nothing like that. So another absolute hit from Diamond Art Club. Okay, gang, so we are now down to the final three. This next canvas was indeed my entry for Drills and Chills 2022. This one is called Mixing Magic. It's a massively popular canvas from Diamond Art Club. I'm just trying to get you all the way to the bottom. There you go. So you can see the bottom there. So like I said, it's called Mixing Magic. The artist is Christine Karen. Size was 56 by 74 centimeters square drills. Isn't this one just so much fun? 
there's just so much going on in this piece. Um, and that was something that I absolutely loved about it, but maybe also a tiny criticism at the, at the same time. <laughs> just because, of course, what am I going to say? I'm going to talk about the confetti. Wow. <laughs> the confetti was off the charts with this one. This is one of these canvases that I started working on and I got about halfway through and then I needed to take a break. I actually had to put it aside and work on some other things because the confetti just got really hectic. And I think it's because you can see how much is going on in this canvas. I mean, on the bottom of the canvas, there's a pumpkin, there's a mixing bowl, there are these jars with potions in them. They are little... Oops, sorry, something just fell down off the ledge behind me. Um, anyway, sorry, there are little rats and mice on the bottom here. There's a frog over here. Um, there's just so much going on. I mean, that's just the bottom of this canvas. So I think in order to give all this type of detail, it was necessary to have a lot of confetti. Obviously, also in her red hair, in the garlic hanging from the roof, in the owl. I mean, so much detail, so much awesomeness. But yes, this is a canvas that I know a few people did. I don't want to say battle with because that's the wrong word. But a few people worked on this for drills and chills. And a number of us were commenting on the fact that we needed to take a break now and then. That said, isn't the end result just so gorgeous? One of my favorite images that I've worked on. I mean, the process, maybe not so much, just because, like I say, of the heavy amounts of, of, of confetti. But the actual image and the end result was so stunning. And, of course, just very fitting for drills and chills. Right, and then my second last canvas. This one is from a different company. This one is from Dreamer Designs. And this is the very famous Moon Lily by Curtis Rykovich. The size of this diamond painting is 60 by 80 centimeters. Um, there were 66 colors in this one. And one of my favorite finishes of the year. I think you can see um, just how gorgeous this one is. You're pretty much seeing to the bottom of the canvas. I mean, that's the bottom of the canvas there. And then obviously just her face, her beautiful hair, and then the care bear and the cat sitting on top of her hair. Obviously, she's got her witch's hat here in the background. Now, once again, the color palette on this one really, really made this such an enjoyable canvas to work on because who doesn't love to work on pinks and pur purples and blues? Um, I also like with Dreamer Designs that they are not shy with their ABs. You always get a lot of ABs with them. One thing to note, they are quite well known for using ABs in people's or characters' faces and also in the skin tones and so on. But that doesn't bother me specifically. And I just loved working on this piece. I thought the squares in this one were actually pretty good. They weren't faultless. And I go into that in more detail in my post review. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on the Dreamer Design squares, please head over to the post review and have a look. But basically, these squares were pretty good. There was some small gapping or amounts of gapping you might be able to see it here a little bit in the lighter colors but obviously in the darker colors and around the image itself there was no issue and you can't see any gapping there so like i say this is one of my favorite finishes of the year probably definitely in my top five maybe even in my top three so if you have wanted to try dreamer designs and you haven't taken the plunge yet I do advise that you give them a chance. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about the square drills and some people love them, some people complain about them, but I had a really good experience with this canvas and I think you can just see how stunning this image is and how nicely it came out. And then gang, this is my final finish that I'm going to be showing you today and it is the biggest one that I have ever done. This is none other than, just give me a second to get it turned over. 
uh, this one is huge and took me many months. <laughs> This is Majestic Ship from Diamond Art Club. The artist is listed as Image World. The size is 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And this is a square drill painting. I'm just going to move it around just a little bit so that you can try and see as much of the canvas as possible. This one is obviously huge. And so... You know, I'm not going to be able to get everything in. But basically, just to show you the background here, I had nice areas of color blocking. And then we get more into the ship itself, which I'm sure you can tell was very heavy confetti. But overall, a nice balance of both. The other thing I wanted to show you that I loved with this canvas. Um, let me just try and move the camera, actually. There we go. Are these... Well, I'm not going to call them waves, but the swell of the sea. The rendering here and the choice of color is just so fantastic. I mean, don't you guys think that this sea area here, this just almost looks like an oil painting. It doesn't look like a diamond painting. So I really only had good things to say about this one. The rendering was so fantastic, obviously helped by the fact that this um, diamond painting is such a large size. It's obviously, or let me just say, my feeling is with diamond painting, size does matter. The bigger, the better. Smaller diamond paintings are going to be more pixelated than larger ones. So I think because of the detail in the ship, for example, the sails and all of the ropes and the flags and so on, this painting did have to be the size that it is. I worked on this one on and off for probably about four months. It's not a canvas that I worked on full time because obviously the size of it would intimidate me now and then. So I would do a few sections or a few rows and then I would put it aside for a week or so, maybe even two weeks and then pick it back up. But I'm OK with that. I have a number of these really large paintings in my stash and that is really how I'm going to tackle them. I will kit them up and I will have them on the side and I will work on them now and then and in between my my other paintings. So this was Majestic Ship, again, one of my favorite finishes of the year, definitely in my top five, maybe in my top three. So yeah, this one, can't say enough good things about it. So basically, those are my diamond paintings. I did have one further finish. Um, it was called War Pony. I'm going to put a photo of it up on the screen now. I don't have it with me because it was a gift. Um, so I'm just having a look in my logbook here just to remind myself. So like I say, the image is on the screen at the moment of the finished diamond painting. It was War Pony by Laurie Prindle. It was a DAC release. The size was 56 by 71 centimeters. It was a round diamond painting with a total of 32 colors. I love this one. The clarity and the rendering on this one was absolutely stunning. I mean, if I have anything to ne negative to say, it's obviously the color palette was fairly dark with all the browns and the neutral colors. But to be honest, the feathers, you know, the feathers were lighter. The feathers had ABs in them. And I loved working on this kit. The only part of it that I struggled with at the bottom is some of the grass and the felt. In the bottom part of the canvas specifically on the bottom right um, that got a little bit tedious but I mean if you have a look at the image you can see that it's really not a very major part of the image so I got through it quite quickly but I actually gifted this one to my aunt for Christmas and she lives in another city from me and she phoned me straight away and was so appreciative and absolutely loves it and she said that I had made her Christmas. So <laughs> it was just so nice that somebody could get one of these diamond paintings that I do and actually fall in love with it. So all good with that one. So gang, that wraps up my 2022 year. Of so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see all of your finishes. To those of you who have YouTube channels, I will definitely be on the lookout for these type of videos. Just a final note from me, you would have seen that just about all my diamond paintings except for one were Diamond Art Club. 
maybe some of you would have hoped that there would have been a bit more variety but please just bear in mind i am an international and so there are only very limited companies we can buy from we can pretty much only buy from diamond art club and dreamer designs because although a couple of other companies do offer international shipping their shipping is so expensive that it just doesn't make sense so as much as i would love to buy from more companies distracted by diamonds craftably maybe try some other ones like mary's diamonds or some of the others that i've heard about i just can't because i can't get them here for a reasonable price so yes my reviews will always be diamond art club heavy they are my favorite company and their shipping is still although very expensive it's still doable um, dreamer designs is the same the only concern i have with dreamer designs for me personally is that they don't release a lot of art that i like um, the only artist that they stock and release canvases by that i love is curtis reikovich and i buy 90 percent of those so i have probably already about 20 of them in my stash but other than that the releases from dreamer designs never go dark or fantasy and so they don't appeal to me much so yes you will primarily see diamond art club on this channel now and then dreamer designs and unfortunately it is what it is because of where i live in the world guys that wraps up my review video please keep your eyes on this channel for lots more content coming now in the this year of 2023 thank you so much to those of you that have subscribed and that are liking my videos and commenting i really do appreciate it it means a lot to me if you are new and you haven't subscribed please do go ahead and subscribe i will be doing lots more unboxings post reviews whip and chats where I will also be talking about books and audio books. So for those of you that are bookworms, I'm sure you will enjoy that too. Other than that, please have a fantastic 2023. Be safe, be happy, enjoy your work, enjoy your family, your friends, and just wishing you all a fantastic year. Happy diamond painting, friends. Bye.